Protecting children against cyber bullying is becoming increasingly difficult, with latest figures showing 84% of Australian teenagers are using chat rooms each day. But Justin Milne from Telstra Big Pond says parents can guard their children from harm, and he's running a program that offers simple tips for parents. Justin Milne, thanks for joining us. Just how big a problem is cyber bullying in Australia? Well, I guess cyberbullying is part of the story, but really the big issue is cyber safety. And I think my message is, is to parents is, is take responsibility, parents. You need to be aware of the things that can happen on the net. There's good things and bad things. You need to be aware of all of them. You need to supervise your kids and really take responsibility for your kids on the net. As well as uh, briefing your children and trying to keep an eye over them, we can't be in the room with them the whole time. Are there other ways to protect your child uh, against these sorts of issues? It's true you can't be in the room with them the whole time, but one of the things that I think is really important and that we do in our house is to make sure that the computers that the kids use are in public places within the house. So they're in studies or in the kitchen or in the living room. Uh, but, you know, a 15-year-old kid uh, alone with his laptop locked away in his room is at much greater risk than the same kid in a public place. So you do need to walk past your kids and you do need to keep an eye on them. Of course, there are technologies that can help as well, but they're just one of the one of the ways to help. It's not the full quid there. You've really got to be a responsible parent. There was a lot of talk, particularly with the previous federal government, about giving that sort of technology, the software, to protect children online. Is that really very effective, though? Look, it's, it's part of the uh, ways that you can protect your kids. So the, the computers in my house have content filters on them. We've got uh, virus filters, spam filters and firewalls. And through Big Pond, we keep them um, regularly updated. So that's part of the story. But it doesn't substitute for parental supervision. So we spend a lot of time talking with our kids about um, not giving out your password to people online, not giving out your name and especially your address to people online. So parents need to become involved in this stuff. They need to understand about online safety. Um, and then they need to give that knowledge to their kids and keep a close eye on their kids. And certainly an issue that, that can't be ignored. Justin Milne, thanks for your time today.